Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to a freaking out Wrestling Days. Check out this packaging. Look at this. No messing around. This macho man. I think it's like a GameStop exclusive. What? Look at it. It is absolutely incredible. They've made it look like an arcade cabinet. Uh, you've got Macho Man, obviously the figure, showing where the screen would be. Uh, if you look at it from the side, you can see that it sticks out as well. It's not like a normal flat square box. Like, they have really gone to town on this packaging. It is absolutely incredible. To be perfectly honest, I wasn't, I wasn't too keen on the figure. Like, it was fine. But I didn't feel like I needed it. I need it now. I need this in my life. It looks like WrestleFest and uh, the old school kind of like Royal Rumble games. It's, it's, it's absolutely amazing. It is absolutely amazing. It's got that kind of superstars feel to it. Um, and as I said, you know, the figure itself, it was kind of a take it or leave it kind of a thing for me. It wasn't an essential purchase. It absolutely is now. No news on when it's coming out. As we mentioned before, it is going to be a GameStop uh, exclusive. And, and this, for me, is the kind of figure that you leave in the box. I don't say that that often, but I think the box really, really makes this figure special. It takes it to that next level. So I wanted to talk to you guys about this, give you my thoughts on it. I think it's absolutely incredible. I've never seen packaging like this before. I hope they make a series of these because I would love to display them like up here in the boxes and have like loads of little arcade machines up there. It'd be absolutely insane. Um, but yeah, I've never seen them do this before. But their packaging has been getting better and better recently. If you think about like the Jericho uh, ringside collectibles list packaging, that was really nice. The Shockmaster, of course, where... You know, he was put in upside down because famously when he made his debut, he kind of fell through, <laughs> fell through the wall. Um, and then also you've got that Isaac Yankum, who I should have. He's up here, look. And uh, yeah, look, the Isaac Yankum, normal packaging, but then on the back, it's got like medical dental records because obviously he was the evil dentist uh so that packaging is pretty special as well uh so really really smart work by mattel they're making what is pretty normal average figure extraordinary and talking about extraordinary more information has come through about those walmart exclusive figures we're talking about alondra blaze doink razor ramon sean michaels this is the Heartbreak Hotel set that you can make. You get a different part of that Heartbreak Hotel uh, set with each of the figures. First figure that I want to have a look at is Razor Ramon because it comes with a shirt. Look at this. They didn't show this off the other day in the images that were released. We never saw this shirt, but it's there and it really makes the figure. It was needed. It looks fantastic it's taken an okay figure and made it something very special um it also comes with part of that heartbreak hotel set it comes with half of the bed uh next up we've got sean michaels this is a fantastic figure i've seen a few people being a little bit critical of it saying that they're not a fan of like the face scan on there um i think it's fine i, I think it's absolutely fine i actually really like it um, I like like the red jacket. They have released a Heartbreak Kid Shawn Michaels before. In fact, I've got it right here. Here he is, look. This is the Heartbreak Kid Shawn Michaels figure that has previously been released. And it's very similar to this, um, but only this new one comes with a red jacket. I think this was a Ringside Collectibles exclusive. So what that means is that it's another opportunity to get a Heartbreak Kid Shawn Michaels figure if you never got chance to pick this one up. And I absolutely love this one. Um, so I still want to get that other one though. 
because it comes with the Heartbreak Hotel sign. Uh, obviously, because you can build the whole set. So that's the Shawn Michaels one. Next one, Alondra Blaze. If you saw the video the other day, you will have seen me freaking out about Alondra Blaze. And rightfully so. First time to line for Alondra Blaze. She comes with that fantastic 1990s Women's Championship. Uh, first time we're ever getting that as well. That is the belt that she famously dropped into the trash can uh, when she left WWF, as it was known at the time. She went over to WCW. Ah, uh, too much information, but I absolutely love this figure. I think the face scan on it looks really smart. I really like the fact it comes with that accessory. And it came out of nowhere. Um, I was not expecting an Alondra Blaze, but here she is. Uh, and I'm really excited. I would love a Bull Nakano if you're watching, Bill. But you know, I won't push. I won't push my luck. Um, so yes, the Alondra Blaze, fantastic. She comes, I think, with the other half of that Heartbreak Hotel bed. And then the final one, Doink. Uh, this is a really smart Doink figure. Uh, obviously, they have released the Doink before. Uh, this is what the other one looked like. The other one came with different hairstyles, different wigs, uh, and it also came with a bucket. This one, I think the only accessory is that lamp, which is the finishing touch to that Heartbreak Hotel kind of interview set diorama. Uh, great looking Doink figure. Uh, obviously, if you missed that other one, this is a great opportunity to add Doink to your collection. I actually missed the other one. I don't have a Doink. I can't show you a Doink because there is... I can show you a Doink, actually. Here's a Doink! I've got a Hasbro doink. This is a 1990s doink. Um, but I don't have a Mattel doink. Uh, but, you know, this is all right. This will do the job. He lost a finger. I, ha I can't remember how. I can honestly, no idea how he lost that finger. But it will have been in some kind of brutal contest. There's no two ways about it. Uh, so we've got a doink figure. Um, and I think that was everything. The, the packaging for these look awesome, but nowhere near as great as that macho man. But I wanted to give you my thoughts on all of this, kind of update you with that Razor Ramon shirt and the Build a Heartbreak Hotel um, uh, set, which is awesome. And I think that was everything, guys. Uh, if I see or hear of anything else, of course, I'll let you know. Uh, so make sure you hit that subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Hit the subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you again next time. Bye for now. Guys, check this out. Look at this. These images literally just came through. I told you I'd show you stuff if images just came through. And these just came through. Brett the Hitman Heart, King of the Ring, 1993. This is a Ringside Collectibles exclusive. And it is an awesome looking figure. Look at that robe. Comes with the crown, the robe, the scepter. We did speak in the other video about... Maybe we'll get a King of the Ring epic moment set coming through one day. Hopefully this is the start of bigger things to come. Maybe a Mabel, a King Mabel figure. We've had a King Booker. Uh, and now we've got King Bret Hart. Uh, and it is absolutely brilliant. Everything I was hoping for from this figure. And as we said, this is a Ringside Collectibles exclusive. And that is it, guys. I think... Uh, if there's anything else, I'll let you know. Make sure you hit that subscribe. Give the video a like if you liked it. And hopefully, I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.